So learning arenas and cities are sites where young people and adults can engage in learning, and in our case, we're particularly interested in learning about social ecological systems, such concepts as ecosystem services and urban biodiversity. So there, there, and I mentioned sites, but there are also practices. So let me give some examples. So for example, sites might be botanical gardens or zoos or formal parks, but also practices, their processes are hands-on activities, stewardship, where, which we can also think of as learning arenas for both young and old people in cities. So, so an example of practices would be things like allotment gardening, community gardening in the U.S., tree planting, particularly by community groups where there's hands-on involvement of young people and older people, for example, along city streets. It could be things like friends of parks groups who work in the more formal parks and they are removing invasive species and restoring or replanting the native canopy. And it can be wildlife restoration projects, maybe for birds installing bird houses, or it could be things like um, restoring the oyster populations in the New York City estuary. 